Hey guys, it's Jamie McDonald here again. It's been a while since I've done any kind of updates. You know, I've got a lot of stuff going on in my personal life. I know my subscribers know that. Um, quick update on that. My wife is doing good. She's uh, just had her third chemo out of six. Uh, three more to go. And she's been responding very well to that. Um, the tumor is shrinking in size enough to where she can physically feel the difference. So that's a good thing. Um... We won't dwell on that stuff for long. Let's just go straight into the reason I am back here, and that is new product. Um, I know that the rumors have been floating around about some new glass coming out for the Micro Four Thirds line from Olympus, and I have today with me the new Mzuiko 14 to 42 pancake. Uh, I know it doesn't say pancake on the box anywhere, but. Um, from the specs we were given from Olympus, this is definitely going to qualify as a pancake. It is a 3.5 to 5.6, and this baby is minuscule. So let's crack her open and see what we got here. Man, I can't wait to give her a little bit of play time. I won't be doing that today. We're dealing with 30 mile an hour wind gusts and sub-zero wind chills. Not a good time to be in Michigan. Alright, so let's get all that stuff out of the way. And holy smokes. Yeah, it is uh, thin. That is an apt description, but it's heavy. Um, I don't know. I mean, there's a metal lens mount, which is a nice thing to see on a lens. That's probably where some of this weight comes from. There's got to be more metal construction to this internally to add to the weight. Um, I'm not aware exactly of the uh, of the lens structure inside of this, how many elements there are, but man, there's a lot of weight to this thing. It's pretty solid. To give you an idea of how thin it is, um, I don't have my standard 14 to 42 with me. It's out on loan to a friend of mine, um, but I do have my 17 millimeter f1.8, which everybody knows is a a pretty thin lens in its own right. So we'll put the two side by side, and I think you can see that there is a quite a bit of difference in thickness there. Not the easiest thing to do while I'm holding it like that, but you get the gist of it. That's a pretty damn small lens. Uh, there's no excuse to leave the house without this one on your camera all the time. It makes your pen cameras completely pocketable. Uh, as soon as I get some test shots done with this, when the weather allows me to get outside and not die of frostbite, sorry for the focus adjustment here, I'm recording this in my dark little office. Um, when I get some test shots up, I'll make sure to let everybody know that I've got them up. They'll probably go up on Flickr. Everything I do seems to end up on Flickr. So uh, Again, I'll find a way to put a link up to my Flickr page so everybody can go see the sample shots. I'm excited about it. It's always cool to get new glass for our system. So I guess that's the end of this video for now. If you've got questions, fire away. Don't, don't even hesitate to ask questions. I try to answer as many as I can, time permitting. And uh, keep your eye on this channel because this isn't the only review or unboxing coming up. Take care. Bye.